whatever it takes. Oh yeah, you know we gonna make it through. There's a whole lot of nastiness going down on YouTube. Now I got my eye on you. Day after day, ah! Terrifying picture. Terrifying picture. That's a hell of a way to start the morning. Huh? You, you ever seen Pennywise? I said Pennywise? Do y'all like Pennywise? Come on. A lot. All right, I'll go say, look, a lot, a lot like Pennywise, man. Especially in this pose. Like, just imagine they all float down here. <laughs> they all float down here. Just imagine that. They all float. Uh, let me. <laughs> Oh man, I'm already, I'm on it already. My bad. I didn't mean to go crazy. I didn't mean to go crazy so early, man. My bad. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. All right, man. If you don't know who Molly Go Lightly is or say Robbie, they're both nasty ass wannabe content creators. They they delve in the realm of true crime, but they specialize in nasty. Both of them, fam. They they exploit the hell out of these cases in a nasty, nasty way. Recently. Uh, a friend of both of them, Laura, was extremely nasty in the way that she spoke about some children. And they did this stream where they was justifying a bunch of it. And then they tried to flip the script. Flip the script. Oh, no, no. Don't look at all the crazy things we're doing. We're going to take this case. Once again, explain how where a YouTuber did some crazy off the wall stuff. He pretty much took some people off this earth and then took himself off this earth. That's the best way that I can say it. Molly decided to use that and go, you see what can happen when you give us criticism? You see what you see the emotional manipulation there, right? You see what she did there? They look like that. That could be us. You got to leave us alone. And then within this same stream, they started bragging about getting channels deleted, false flagging people and a whole bunch of hypocrisy with save Robbie as if he doesn't go real life on a regular basis, fam. Actually, man, this is a long clip, but it's it's worth to listen. She hid the video immediately after the stream. <laughs> so this is an exclusive. Hit that like button and share, man. Share the live. Share the live. All right, let's let's check this out. <laughs> Pennywise. She do look like Pennywise, man. Subscribers, uh, Patreon's friends came up here and she started crying. Uh, there was an incident what? in England where there was a YouTuber who was being bullied to death and he was crying out for help. And what he did was he ended up uh, making a bunch of YouTube videos saying that he was, you know, being bullied, he couldn't handle anymore, and people were just jabbing at him. And he went outside and I swear, it's like these certain content creators that specialize in emotional manipulation, every time they receive any kind of backlash, they will use some kind of personal trauma that has nothing to do with the backlash at all to try to seem like, oh, I'm not as bad as you think. Please be empathetic to me. And sometimes they don't even have no personals. If they ran out of personals, they will go and grab some external and flip that on another. No, people are giving you criticism, fam. And also what that guy did is not on anyone that gave him criticism online or anything. Even if they troll, fam, that's not on them. If you cannot be on the internet and you need that help, shut it down, go get help immediately. This is not a game. I don't know why these people keep doing this. And I'm talking about content creators that are exploiting these type of stories. Man, we need to encourage people to go get help. If you need the help, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no shame in it. Go get the help. It's not on everyone. Your mental health is not the responsibility of anyone. This is not, yo, it's your fault because no. Would, would you like that? You know how I many people Molly Golightly has offended? How many people she has disrespected? How would she like to be blamed if something was to happen? God forbid. But how would she like to be blamed for that? It would be wrong. It would be extremely wrong. I don't know. Let me know what your opinion is. And he used the gun and he got a three-year-old girl, two old men in a park, a 31-year-old woman, a 63-year-old woman. 
five of them died, and then he took it, the gun to himself at the car. And oh we were told, exactly. So the topic was story. one of one of my friends sent this to me, and she said, "Marissa, I am crying." And ironically, very ironically, and that's why I wrote, "Isn't this ironic?" Um. Isn't this read. ironic? That was the name of the stream too. Isn't this ironic? And so she's not just blaming his own death on whoever he spoke to on YouTube, but everyone else that he decided to go and do that to. That's these YouTubers' fault. The, the people that's on YouTube that gave criticism. That's their fault that he did that. This is insane, fam. That like that way of thinking is really sick, and it, it's not productive in any way. Not productive to to um, encouraging people to get help when they have help, um, problems with mental health. It's not productive to be in a concert. Grade. I don't know what you expect to get from this other than sad fishing, other than to feel bad for me. Oh, I'm so sad. People give me criticism after I did something wrong. Oh, look, look, at, look at this case that has nothing to do with me with this horrible incident and all these things that happen. This could happen again. Stop talking about me. That's, that sounds like even more disturbed than someone speaking about you. Like, that's, that sounds way more intense. That sounds like you're trying to persuade or try to manipulate your audience to think a certain way. To me, that's just how I feel. He has said, my God, what is it going to take for these people to, you know, be human again and just cut this bullshit with this real life and all this other stuff. And I said, and I think Laura even saw it, I said, I they're not going to be happy until Took someone slices. I said that. And or you know, someone else. That's what she said to Laura. They're not going to be happy until... Yo, fam, I, I really can't stand when people do this. This is like the biggest emotional manipulation you can do, especially on YouTube. Oh my God, these people form these cross circles so they can just do all the nasty they want and just hide behind this, this cross circle, this shield of cries. And it's like, fam, they don't even realize that she's manipulating you. Like, that, this is insane. The fact that this doesn't get called out more is insane to me. But that is just my personal opinion. I feel, I mean, say, Robbie, I don't. Listen, I know that like you feel vulnerable sometimes, you feel attacked. Sometimes you come off extremely confident, you can handle it, you 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 go. Now she put in say Robbie in the victim shoes, like he don't go out here and go real life and threaten people and dox people and do all types of nasties like fam. Say Robbie is one of the worst, but if anything, if you, I guess your way of thinking was right, right? If it is imagination station, right? Just fairy tale land where, where there's rainbows and daffodils everywhere and just everyone cares about feelings. If that was right, you would hate Save Rob. He would be enemy number one, fam. Like, have you watched the live stream? No, y'all don't care. You, you sell candles. And according to him, I think he's going to say it in this stream. You make him go do things with men. You make him go do things with men. That's what he said. It's in the stream. But sometimes, you know, I notice that you're like, all right, stop, enough, enough. Like these people are pissing me the fuck off. Blah, 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 blah. But do you ever, have you ever felt like these people are beating you down so that, um, to a point where you were like, um, these people are going to drive me insane? Oh, of course. But it's like, I was saying this the other day, it's like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in full suit, so it's kind of loud, but... You gotta, if you haven't seen any of these videos about Save Robbie, check my channel. Check my channel after this. Look through the videos of all the disgusting things he has done and said. This is, I just want you to look at that, and then you're gonna look at this and laugh your ass off like who who is this man this, yeah sometimes it's hard it's just, i don't know what you you saying that miss i'm so pretty and <laughs> everyone talked about me because they they're so ugly and they're fat and horrible show your facts uh, uh, don't email me no more
don't email me no more, Robbie, please. <laughs> I don't want no contact with your, your weird ass. I, I was saying that the other day. It's like a, it's it's like like a muscle button. you have to work out. Each time they do it, it's like you learn how to either shut your mouth or some people you learn who's not important to respond to, which is the majority of the people. Really, it, it's worthless to even respond. You guys all know this. You dealt with it. And most of the time, 99% of the time, they don't deserve a response. So that's what I'm learning. But yeah, they drive me freaking crazy. I don't think you should respond to every single person that gives you criticism. Like, I do agree with that um, standpoint. Um, I respond to people when it's entertaining. Oh, man, if I could get these jokes off, buddy, I'm roasting your ass. I'm definitely going to roast it, probably on the Garfield channel. Um, but other than that, I don't respond to every single video. That's what I always tell people. Don't come to me. Yo, so-and-so said, I don't care. I don't care who did a video on me. It's like, fam, it would be really hypocritical that I speak about people. And if someone spoke about me, ah, lose my mind. These people, they all speak about people. Molly, she speaks about children in the worst way. In the worst way. Say, Robbie, he talks about people in a nasty way. Laura speaks about people and children in general in a nasty way. They, it's all just a, a bunch of nasty Yo, I'm going to keep playing this. They say a lot more disgusting things, fam. That's probably why she she hit the video. Of course. It's really hard not to defend yourself, though, Robbie. You know that as well, but <laughs> Yeah, and Brian, I was I was crying drunk on the phone with you, what, like a month or two ago or something? Yeah. Um, just because like I felt broken at the time. That seems to be a common thing with a lot of different content creators that save Robbie calls Drunk. He eats drunk. He goes for walks drunk. Go to work drunk. Go to church drunk. Cooks drunk. Takes the bathroom. Like <laughs> uses the bathroom. <laughs> drunk fan. Man, I'm I'm being extremely petty because if you don't know the history of all the nasty things he said and done, especially with me, of re- going real life and going too far. I'm, I'm going to be real, extremely real. Man. This whole, my sobriety saved me. It's an act. He has drinks on the regular, fam. On the regular. It's just an act to get people to build this, like, this shield around him. So, mind you, I've seen it. I've seen him go on panel. People say, yo, you drunk right now. No, I'm not. And everyone's circling around. Like, Why would you say that? Yeah, of course he's not. The next day, I'm drunk, guys. I was drunk the whole time. I lied to every one of you. Just says I am who I am, and people just was like, okay. So no, no, I'm not believing none of that bull crap when it comes to sobriety. I don't, I don't care. That's on you. That's on you, fam. It can't just be one thing. Oh, we we can't touch that one topic. Everything else is fair game. Everyone has certain things in particular to them that are delicate to them, or that they are care for. Around. Like, whoa, that's a, I'm a little sensitive with that. If you don't care about all of those. Why should everyone care about your one? What makes you so special? It's entitlement, fam. If you can realize that if you're doing that and you just stop, fam, the world would get along way more easier. And plus, people would be less sensitive and jokes. Things would be funny again, fam. Things would be funny again. I I don't know why Brian uh, got the balls to call me, but I wasn't in a good mood at the time. And he kind of calms me down. But I mean, you guys have all been through it. Yeah, and they want to see you cuss. They want to see you snap so they can record you and put you on their channel. Yeah. That's the reason they do it. The reason they so stop snapping. It's, it's that simple. Stop losing your damn mind. How about that? If, if that's true, right? Just stop doing it. Stop doing it. do your content. And if someone gives you criticism, move on. Just move on. I tell people all the time, you only got to do a reply to me. If you do, I don't care. But you don't have to. You don't have to talk to me. We don't, we don't have to have a conversation. Like, I, I really don't need to. <laughs> if I cover you as a topic, we don't have to talk. I really feel that way. It's not going to change my opinion on you. It's not gonna, I spoke to them and now I think, mm, nah, said what I said. You got to deal with that, fam. And there's too much fakeness going around. Too much. He cried to so and so, he cries to everyone drunk. Like it makes no sense. How often I hear that, man. 
it's, it's too often that that he's having like fallouts of people and explaining how he called them drunk. Like, stop it. Most of these people but are. I, I like. I like seeing Laura uh, cuss people out because then I have a new alarm clock for the morning time. <laughs> <laughs> So these people are bullying y'all and scaring y'all and so oh, it could get bad. But you like when one of you curses and bullies and okay. I just wanna look at look at the pose. Pennywise, I feel you. I feel that's the exact pose. Hey Molly, how you feel about your friends doing all this nasty stuff that you trying to, you know, shame other people for so called doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right there. Funny like that. <laughs> she is. I'm sorry. She is. Just because she gets like this, this get the hell out of my way type of voice, and anybody who gets in her way, she will stop. It's just funny. Yeah, I'll get the fuck out of here. I could do a four hour clip of her saying that. It's so funny when she does that. <laughs> it's funny, right? But at the same time, it's entertaining the things that Laura says about people. So funny. I know. Laura also has to deal with the real life bullshit just like anybody else. So there, there's a point where it's not funny anymore. You know what I'm saying? None of this is funny for anybody at this point in time. Right, right? so pick one. Is it funny or is it not funny? So pick one. Because y'all just agreed it was so hilarious when she does it. But now it's not funny. Oh, did you notice that that was just that was bad timing for that? Did you, oh, you peep the chat maybe? Maybe we shouldn't be saying that? We shouldn't be saying it's funny. These guys are like buffoons, fam. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you. Now it's like for real. Every aspect of my real life has been touched. Everything. All right. You got it the Thank worst. You know, drama. I, I admit it. You did get it the worst. Thank you. And Appreciate if this was only on YouTube and they kept it on YouTube, I wouldn't care. But don't oh, I get it. come into every aspect of my real life. You know, it's try, to try to hurt every aspect of my real life. Or my kids, don't forget they got my kids involved. And sit here and Laura sit here and cry about going real life when she's talking to someone who goes real life on a regular basis. On a regular basis. And she, oh, I'm the victim. Of, no one wants to hear that, fam. I'm not respecting any of them. Any of these people More than in this once. Uh -huh. And sorry, if you don't want me to go low, don't come at me in the first place. And then I'll never have to. Well, they're up. going through. Right now, they're don't going through. I just got to see more this morning, but um, I've been in contact with somebody at YouTube because they're doing false privacy claims. They did one on my son that passed away like a month ago. I did a stream on it. They went in it and privacy claims his picture like that's how far they're taking it. shut up shut up shut, i almost couldn't get oh man shut your ass up man you talking about privacy claims when you false flagging people left and right dude what are you what are you talking about the way i've beat him every time i beat him in every false flag that he's tried to do my channel every single time um but that doesn't make me that is okay and it's extremely hypocritical for you be sitting here telling myself, oh, but they keep privacy striking and you're out here throwing false flags out, threatening to throw them out. Check my debate with him when he says, I'm going to do it every time. I did it to this video. He literally said that virtually to my face. Virtually. Because we wasn't in, in person. Nah, I, I digress. You get what I mean. It's like, yo, fam, they, they just say things and they don't actually think about what they're saying. It's, it's as if they think that they're better than everyone so they don't have to follow these rules that they are setting for everyone. No, you can't do four strikes and do that stuff, right? I agree. Why are you doing it to people? Why did you do it to me? Hmm? Lower it too as well. Like, come on, fam. Does that make any sense? Oh, you can't talk about people and go real life. Why do you do it? Like, that it makes no sense, man. And it's just bullshit, because I have to keep going through and explaining it to YouTube and stuff. But, yeah, these people can't beat you on YouTube. Uh, let me see what they're saying. What, uh, serve karma, they ask fun. <laughs> they speak karma. Laura wonders why she's attacked for real ones out here. Yeah, like, she's definitely nasty. I appreciate your support, too, as well. I am their karma. I am the bane of the existence. I am the true crime world's reckoning. Uh, that's me. 
Ask me. That's why they're doing all this. It's they're afraid of people being honest, people that are not afraid, people that don't have fear and will go and continue to speak truth. They're terrified by that. And again, appreciate the support. And go further because they want some sort of, uh, you know, claim the victory or something, but they've done something to hurt your feelings. Is this or not? These people need to remember, karma will come back to you tenfold. Absolutely. So far, it's knock on wood. My karma's been good. And everything that everybody tried to do to me. No, it ain't. Your karma's not good. What are you talking? Yo, this girl, crazy. She crazy, fam. Like the my karma's been good. It has backfired in that face. So knock on wood, but yeah. Hey, I'm a meeting. Yeah. I've always come out on top. So hopefully it'll continue. But I, I don't do anything. Like these people She's floating high because she got some channels um deleted. She destroyed some YouTubers recently. So she's real happy about that. That all those flags that she got some channels removed. They're they're excited. And Molly Go is gonna brag about it as well. Oh, constantly in my life. I don't I don't even think about them. And they can't grasp that. Well, I was just telling Laura people. the other day, it's a, a lot of these people that do stuff like that, or you know, they'll put your your face or your video on their channel or whatever it is, the majority of the time is because they're attracting an audience. That's the only way they can do it is if they use you, you know, and unfortunately it doesn't matter what you say back to these people. I've even reached out personally to these people. They have no interest in making peace. They just want to have their little shows that they put on. (laughs) Uh, people like I, he's talking about me in particular guys he's going to state that too as well he's going to make sure he's going to clarify that he's talking about me maybe that's why she deleted it um but no one has to speak to you fam people can disagree with you give criticism you're a public figure same thing with me it, no one's like exempt from this no no one can be like oh I, you can't say nothing about me if someone has criticism for you you contacting them that doesn't mean that their criticism is going to disappear. It's never going to happen. Like, that makes no sense. You think you Shane Dawson and I'm, what's this dude's name? Uh, I forgot his name. Remember when Shane Dawson, he got that video done on him and he flew the guy out and signed him and all this other craziness? I'm not selling out, man. BXB's boy is not for sale. Unless you get my book. It should be in the description. Some is below. Get the, the book, man, and check my other stuff in the link. For people. And the only people they attract is hateful people, so good for them. And Robbie, see, Brian, Robbie has a different opinion than you do. Tell him what you said to me about the comment. Yeah, I know Uh, Bobby Jones. What the hell did you say, Brian? No, no, no. Let me me pause it. I want to be clear. You ain't going to, no one's going to Bobby Burns me. That you ain't never going to see that. You ain't never going to see I'm going to tell them to kiss my ass. You know how many interviews I've turned down, fam, from big, like, known, um, like, uh, newspapers and companies. And then I was just like, man, nope, nope. I don't mess with mainstream media. I'm cool. I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale whatsoever. I just wanted to make sure that um, I pointed out, thanks uh, to Kyra and a few other people that actually told me the name. Bobby Burns was his name. Yeah, because he was dope, man. If you watch some of his earlier content, he was dope. And then once he... Sold his soul to Shane Dawson. I was like, whoo What oh, did you, you say to bro? me? No credibility. About the comments. The comment I made. To about. Oh, uh, I don't blame you. Listen, here, here's what I think about that kind of stuff. Because they say it about me all the time. I, and I'm speaking for myself. They'll say, you can't say this or that. Or all they did was talk about your sobriety or this or that. Listen, if you're going to go on the internet and your whole purpose is to be to stir trouble and to make people mad, you better expect whatever comes out of their mouth, you were the one that made them mad. So it's your fault. So whatever comes out, don't... What? Are you serious? So whenever someone makes you upset, which, mind you, you're in charge of your emotions. You're, You're the person that's supposed to control those. But that's someone else's responsibility. So now whatever you do, because remember, he don't be apologizing. He just be doing a bunch of nasty, saying a bunch of nasty and be like, 
It's your fault. He blatantly just described his way of thinking right before your eyes. You made me mad. So everything I said, your fault. You did that to yourself. This man is disgusting. So everyone that he makes mad, they should be allowed to go crazy, right? I'm not telling anyone to, but with his logic, that it doesn't make sense, fam. It doesn't make sense. These guys are like big babies. It's a giant crying big baby running around. Don't be surprised when that happens. And look, look, nothing is off limits when you piss somebody off because with me, I've said mean stuff to people. And and I quit drinking again and smoking cigarettes almost a month ago. And these people put me through the ringer. I was 355 days without cigarettes or alcohol. And when I finally crashed and came down and was transparent, they were all over that shit. You're lying. And that's why you got backlash because you lied. He's lying right now. That's not what happened, fam. When he went crazy, this is how people knew he was drunk. He just started going crazy and spazzing out and spilling secrets. He, he did a panel, had a bunch of people protecting him. Someone, one of his friends came on and asked, are you drunk? And he said, no, he lied. Everyone said no. And then it came out, he was actually drunk. So the backlash wasn't because, oh, I slipped. So it was back. No, 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 no. You caused this scene. You lied to not just people that are questioning that didn't like you, your own supporters. You let your supporters get up there and look foolish defending your lying ass. That's why you got backlash. And then you started going real life for getting criticism and starting to dox people and doing these nasty things. And according to Robbie, that's our fault. That is, hey, we, we, we should have, you know, praised him for his nastiness. And oh, you, you lied right to our face. Good for you for, for telling us that you lied to our face after the fact. Yeah, you, you, you deserve an award. Just the nasty award. Shit. And you know what? I said mean stuff back to them, but what were they doing to me first? They were making fun of sobriety and doing all this. So don't be mad when somebody comes back after you. End of story. You were relentless. If you're going to be a troublemaker, you're going to get trouble. Period. That's what I think. Yeah, I, yeah, I understand what, what you're saying, and I understand why Laura said what she said. I just, I, I just, I don't agree with it, but I, yeah, I get it. No. Now yeah, listen, not, if Laura were, were to just say that out of yeah, if she were to say that out of nowhere, like it, listen, if somebody was just minding her own business and she said that, yeah, that's a mean thing to say. But and I, you have to remember when you trigger somebody, they're gonna say mean shit. Shut, if, shut your ass up. When you're a toddler, when you're a baby, that's how you handle things. Yeah. Yeah, normally it would have been mean, but the fact that someone said something to her, then no, it's not mean. No, it's still a mean thing to say. And what was said to her was not nowhere near the level. They were referring, Neds was referring to, I'm not trying to talk about your kids. I don't care about that. I don't want to speak on your kids. I'm talking about your actions. And she said, oh, yeah, I'm going to be disgusting. And I'm talking about her actions. Like, fam, yo, no. No, fam. These guys keep trying to justify them doing nasty and wrong as if they're just these victims. Huh? It's the perfect picture. We didn't do nothing wrong. Yes, you did. You did a lot. <laughs> there you go. That's the point. That's that the right? point. She said it. I remember her saying to that guy that's been bothering her. I guess he's bothering me too. I don't watch him. I don't, I don't know who he is. I had to ask him, I'm like, is he an American? I was like, I don't know. Dude, I haven't watched him either. What does that have to do with anything? What? Yo, did she just ask that? What does him being an American have to do with anything? What are you trying to say? What does that mean, Molly? What is it? This is why you get criticism. What do you mean by that? Is he American? What do you mean? What if he wasn't? What if he is? What, what does that matter? Like, I don't understand these people's way uh, of thinking. Like, trying to understand is going to lead you down this, this dark, dark wormhole. I'm talking about some, some Donnie Darko type. You're going to just start seeing rabbits just running around and not know where or what they, they are. That's, that's the type of... I'll see, just right now, I went into that mode. I need to get out. Get, get out. Get out. Get out. Oh. 
get out the, the stupid hole. Just me. Okay, back with the logical thinkers here. I haven't watched him either. This I have a hate like line as my number. She says, "Tune into this guy, that Nate's guy." I'm like, dude, I don't care to because the more I tune into these idiots, the more triggered I'm going to get, and my mouth is going to run. But I so I don't care to make any enemies. Who cares? If anyone triggers you, if anything makes that much emotion come out, you should not be on the internet. You shouldn't. You should. If you that aware of it, and mind you, you be begging people to come on your streams and so. So, yep, yeah, no, no, you're inviting it. You're inviting it. And also, you're playing victim when you're out here doing the most nasty things ever. The exact same way. I said, this if is, I watch insane. them, I tell my Patreon, I said, if I watch them, I'm going to get triggered. So, it's best yep. off if I don't watch any of them. I'll see screenshots here and there. But uh, 99% of the time, I don't watch any of my haters. I will watch it. I do agree that you shouldn't watch it, fam. I, I, not because you're going to get triggered. I just think that you shouldn't have that kind of energy in. It just depends because a lot of times it might be negative. Um, but you shouldn't have that type of energy that you don't want in your life as well as you should focus on your um, self unless your job is to <laughs> to look at other people and point out certain inconsistencies of their nasty behavior. Um, other than that, if it's so triggering, stay your ass on people's videos. Like I have no problem with that. Um, but I don't think that it should trigger you. I don't think what anyone says should cause any kind of strong emotional reaction. If it does, that's something that you need to solve on the inside. You need to go evaluate yourself. This ain't me joking. Anything. Go evaluate yourself, figure out what's going on that makes you so easy to trigger. And then um, actually, maybe you'll stop doing all these nasty things, fam. Because I do think a lot of the stuff that, um, especially say Robbie, things that he does is straight off emotion. Feelings are hurt. You are in my feelings, so I'm going to dox you and do all these nasty things. That's what they do. Um, I think you need to handle your emotions, all of you, everyone on this panel. Clip, if somebody says to me, you might want to listen to this, you yeah. know, they were talking about your kids or they would be on this or that, then I'll say something. But, you know, then I'll why is that okay? Why is that okay? But when you fire back in return, uh, they get offended. Listen, if that guy is going to be somebody that gets so offended when people fire back That's at him, true. then he should stop doing what he's doing and maybe change up his contents a little bit and stop using other people for content. Because really, when yes. so in in their eyes, if someone steps on your shoe, you should throw them off the roof. That was just a metaphor. Like, like that doesn't make any sense. So he gives you criticism, and you should go to the lowest of low. You shouldn't have given me criticism. These guys are, uh, are just insane. They're crazy. They're delusional. They're buffoons. There's not a uh, one brain cell between the three of them. I don't even know who the other person is on panel. I, I don't care to know. Um, yeah, fam, these people, something is wrong. Something is clearly from my eyes, from me looking in, the outside looking into this nasty ass cross circle, something wrong. Something wrong. Something ain't right, fam. Some ain't right. And I bet you a few months, maybe even years, maybe we're going to find something out. That's just my thought. That's a, a, a guess. A guess. I'm not saying that's a fact. That's just my opinion. And that's a guess. What he's doing? This is he's too, stirring trouble for content. Too weird. Well, when you do that, when you play with fire, you're going to get burned and don't cry when you do. Period. It's not really hurt. Fair it's all game. an act for super chats. That's what it is. Oh. I mean, you talk. Y'all talking about acts for super chats? Y'all, you, Laura, life, perplex, mob, go lightly, the big man child, uh, save right. Y'all all claiming that other people are doing things for the supers. Wow, that's that's crazy. There's like no self-awareness at all when these people speak. They've never looked in the mirror, not once. Not once. That's all they do. Man, she just talked about, yeah, man, my Patreon. Y'all be putting stuff behind paywalls. That shouldn't be behind paywalls, in my personal opinion. You can put whatever you want behind a paywall, but in my personal opinion, when you do things like, I don't know, cases of like these children, like the true crime about children, and you you put like funeral photos and things of that nature. You going 
to the funeral with your camera out and posting that as exclusives behind paywalls. I think that's nasty as hell. That's when I think it's like a little too far. Other than that, put whatever you want behind your paywall. That is just, it's, it's sick to me. It's extremely sick to me. Oh, All topsy photos too, apparently. Made is, is laughable. Absolutely laughable. Like I had to laugh my ass off when I read the one last night because he always tags me in them. And he's like, uh, you're going to go to space camp off of my family's name. I was like, Back get shot. the fuck out of here, dude. I said, I got plenty of support. I had nothing to do with your fucking name. Get the fuck out of here now. He actually supported someone that was calling someone else's child a cunt and a whore. He called my son a brat. I, he's yeah. a fucking idiot. Well, dude, I don't even know the guy, and she's here's my name. Sam, I, you're comparing brat to you making fun of his his child not being here. That's like that doesn't compare to me. Um, if he even said that. I seen the the footage of you saying what you said. I seen the audio of that. That's for damn sure. That wasn't just some bogus ass claim. It's out there. I've posted it. So um yeah, I call bullcrap. For views. So when you're gonna do that and you're not gonna talk to me and get to know me first, that's all I need to know about you. Is you're just a gossip queen little bitch. End of story. <laughs> Shaggy. And I listen, I don't have time to Wait, that what did you just say? <laughs> Shaggy. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't know she dropped the F-bomb. Wait, am I tripping? One more time, one more time, one more time. You're just a gossip queen little bitch. And that's where Shaggy. Yeah, she just dropped the F-bomb. Wow. I didn't even hear that the first time. That's crazy. I, listen, I don't have time for that bullshit. I, and I don't care, you know? That's why I'm learning, like you said, how to deal with it. They I'm should. learning. But then say Robbie says people attack him because of his choices, his like who he chooses to be with. But she just dropping F bombs like it's, and you just skip right over that, right? I'm telling you, fam, they actors, man. They are actors. Not to respond because responding has always been what they've wanted. And I've responded in really mean ways. So I've learned to try to bite my tongue and I'm still learning. Oh, Robbie, you are nasty when you're mad. I do not want to be on your back. You your ass. ass. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. Like they say, I don't want to be on your bad side. You are nasty. You're disgusting when you angry. I don't want to be on your bad side. Now back to the topic. No one should be bullying online. Y'all that y'all that simple? What? Bless your heart, fam. Bless your heart. But everyone on the panel. <laughs> Bless your heart. That that sounds crazy. Hit the like button, man. Probably nasty when he's mad. <laughs> but I just I don't understand He's got over ten thousand subs. Do a fundraiser next. Are they even real? Has they real? Are they real subs? I don't know, but I'm saying he's he's. Got are they real? This is what's crazy. They literally be having the same stream numbers. Like when Neg streams and he has like maybe one fourth the amount of subscribers that Molly has, they be having the same amount of viewers in that room, fam. She, are yours real? Like that's okay. If you want to play that game, it, it makes more sense. His viewership is more consistent with his subscriber count than yours. Like let's just call a spade a spade, man. It makes no sense. His numbers is better than yours. And he's like four. Yeah, yeah, you're four times. That, was, that makes no sense. So you throwing that little petty shot, it actually exposes you. Are you real? Did you buy subs? Who knows, man? I don't know. I'm just saying, don't throw that accusation out there when it don't make no sense of your numbers. Like that, that doesn't really add up. He's got like twelve thousand. So okay, do me well, a favor. real subs, then he'll be able to go live. Otherwise, they're bought. All these people that talk about us, they've never given anything back to anybody. Nothing. It's all them, 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 them. Me, me, me. I'm going to drag people for money because I have no other content. I'm telling you, my, my email is filled up, filled up with people that are sending me stuff about this guy. Uh, and I don't want to, you know, I really don't want to war with him, but if he doesn't want to, you know, he I took one look at this person's channel, I don't really know nothing about him. 
He's had like four videos about nags within the last two days. I don't want to war with him. You just want to do a high amount of videos. <laughs> they throw rocks and hide their hands, fam. Because I just want to, I, I don't want to war. I don't want to war. I'm just going to do a bunch of videos and bunch. Um, fam, anyone can get criticism. Anyone can get criticism back. Especially when you're content creators, fam. This whole throwing rocks and hiding hands things is crazy. If you, you don't to have to talk. reply. No one has to reply to anything. But if they want to, that's their choice. About me. I'm going to get to the point where I say, like, dude, you're an hour away from me. You know, he's an hour away from me. So if he wants to talk where he's not going to. What's that supposed to mean? What's that? Why are you inviting yourself to meet someone like this is yo, this is nasty. And look, Molly right here. She got people on her panel to threaten people, but we could just we can meet up. You I, we, we, how do you know that? How do you know that? Like, why do you know their whereabouts? How far they are from you? Why is that a thing? I don't, yo, fan, I will never be able to understand how they can be saying these things and getting away with it. I know why she took this video down. I know exactly why she took this video down. I'm listening to all the things they're saying. It's crazy. I'm going to get super chats or anything. I didn't come talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Well, that same thing happened with that BX guy. He had been going non Hold on. I hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I heard my name. I heard my name. That came out of nowhere. I didn't even know they were going to talk about me. That's me. Yeah, it's me. BX Beast Boy, man. I emailed him and he and I said, Hey, you want to talk? We can talk. And he was like, I have no interest in talking to you. Blah blah blah. I said, There you go. That right there answers. What he always leaves out that story is that I had like maybe four false flags. <laughs> like he was false flagging my channel back to back, back to back. Fam, like um I the other two, it was two from him and it was two from another content creator. But I had like four at the time. So fam, he's sending me emails almost some let's talk. Why would I want to talk to you if you're false flagging my videos? Why? Why would I want to talk to the person who's trying to put my channel at risk? Or for them having their feelings hurt? That was a bully tactic. Why would you false flag someone and then reach out to them to try to solve whatever problem? What sense does that make? It was a bully tactic. But I don't negotiate with fake ass wannabe bullies. You can kiss my black ass. I'm on you. Foot on neck all season. I'm here with it. Ah, grinding. Bruce Lee. So I remember when Bruce Lee used to do the stuff and he went, ah, 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 ah. that's how I'm here with it. Foot on neck. I don't care, fam. I am the bane of your existence. I am the true crime world's reckoning. You ain't going to be nasty out here and not get called out by me. Just got to deal with it. You got to deal with it. Yeah. And no, I'm not afraid if you dox me, which you guys done. I'm not afraid of you going real life and threatening me, which you guys have done. I'm not afraid of none of that. I'm not afraid of you guys whatsoever. I laugh at you. Laugh on your lapel. It's <laughs> my question of why you're talking about me. Yeah. Because if there was a solution to the... Yeah. And if there was a solution to whatever issue he had with me, I didn't know who he was until he said something about me. So if there was a solution, that would end his content. Because their content is not about solutions. It's about picking, cherry picking people. How would it be if you do something nasty and I speak on it? There's no solution. Even we, if we, Imagination Station, we talk, hey, hey, what's up? Okay, boom. You do something else nasty. Am I not supposed to talk on the new thing that's nasty because we came to a solution about the old previous problem? That makes no sense, fam. It just, you just don't want people talking about you. That they want to make fun of so that they can get views on their channel. But that's how they lose channels. <laughs> that's yeah. how you lose channels. You hear that? She's talking that talk. That's how you lose channels. She's bragging about getting someone's channel taken down. That's how you lose channels. If you do it the smart way and you work with us and we're cool and we're having fun, that's how you build. You build on progress and you build on positivity you build on what people want not many there's not, there's not a big uh uh supply and demand of, of negativity people don't want to feel bad and they don't 
So why do you cover the cases in the way you do? Why do you upload videos with no updates to these missing children or children that have been taken away from Earth and you just posting just pictures with sad music playing in the background? Exclusive, never before footage of this child that's no longer with us. I'm just going to post a face and the whole video of just them dancing. No updates whatsoever. No new information because people hate being sad. Come on. Come on, fam. This is exactly why I be coming at these channels, man. They know what they do. You're sad fishing. You're, so you're creating cry circles. Emotion, emotion, emotion. You don't actually care. You're tricking people into believing you do. That's how you build your platform. That's nasty, fam. I'm always going to call that out. That's disgusting. People are crazy. And Hey, you want to know something? If, if he does it for super chat and rewarding bad behavior, then he, honestly, you really are just as bad. And you can't. So, uh, so with that logic, if you give Molly Go Lightly or Laura a super chat, that means you support making fun of children who are no longer with us. Yeah. Remember when she did that, that comedy show when she was doing skits about the Chris Watts thing and Oh, you're going you're gonna to choke me. Ah, remember she said that? She said that about the children? Yeah. Yeah. So if you ever give her a donation, I mean, you support people who do that. You support people that rob people who, who get arrested and say, you can have my kid. Take my kid and I'll go. I mean, and you support people offering up their children for sale to get out of jail, but get out of jail, free cards. You, you donate to Molly Golightly. You support that. That, yo, fam, like it's a slippery slope, and y'all don't want to play that game. And she said, Well, I it's didn't like no self awareness at all. Well, super that's rewarding bad behavior. That's you might as well be a bully yourself, but you don't have the balls to start a channel. So, yeah, give him money. Absolutely, give him money. Absolutely, give it to him. He needs it. Give it to him. I don't give a fuck. What? Before I. Before I go, I have to say two things. Number one, I just walked by downtown. That guy, one of the guys you made me make out with at the gay bar. I just walked by. Remember, I said that in the beginning. I probably thought I was joking. I just walked by the guy that you made me. You made me. Mind you, remember, sober for so long, slipped up. Let me get closer to the camera. Apparently. She was one of the reasons why he slipped up. I have a plethora of photos of them drinking together. And she also made him go make out with a guy. Just made him while he was drunk. I was like, oh my God, he's really sick out with him. But now Robbie has she to was go. forced by <laughs> head of it. Oh, no, 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 no. But I wanted to say before I leave, because I do have to go, but I wanted to say, oh. Marissa, Brian, and Laura, when you have to log into your channels, the reason you've been around as long as you have is because you can log in and talk about a, a grain of salt that fell on the floor, or you can talk about a crime case, or you can talk about a step toe, and people will listen to you because you have a personality. These other people, the reason they talk about you is because they're using your personality because they don't have one. Right? But anyways, I gotta go. I'll be listening. Catch you, Robbie, before he gets away. According to Robbie, I only speak about him because I don't have a personality. I'll be out. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to get him, but I will later. Don't lie. Bye. Love you. What is? Bye. Daniel brought up a really good point. I've been saying that too. They don't see us going over to their channels. You don't see us trolling their channels. I see. Save Robbie doing that on a regular basis. The Glover has definitely done that. Um, she definitely be going to people's channel. I was on a panel and she just hopped on there to try to yell at me. So yeah, that happens. You don't see our people trolling their channels. We don't care. I don't. I honestly. And don't know. That's where Your people don't troll my channel. Check out my debate playlist, fam. I think that's where it's at. I, I got people calling in saying all types of nasty things. Like I don't care. Yeah, whatever. It's sad. And people, you know, they don't realize who's in their chat. I heard Nex is bipolar, schizophrenic. I heard he's on all sorts of drugs. And so long. Hold up. Hold the hell up. 
we going to do this big, sad fishing ass, this, oh, feel bad for mental health stream. And then you're going to bash someone's mental health on the same exact stream. Yo, I'm telling you, yo, man, their supporters just, just sit there as if they don't see this, this bull crap, man. Like they are just pretending to be certain people right in front of your face. Yup, yup. Y'all feel bad for us? Okay, now you let us get away with everything. We're going to attack mental health. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But if you talk about us having a drink, you shouldn't do that. That's untouchable. You never talk about sobriety as we talk about other people's mental health and them doing um, any kind of drug or anything. That's on the table, but you can't do it to us. Come on, fam. Come on, fam. That's yo, what I'm seeing from this, and I've been seeing from this whole crew it, the entire time. I don't think it's really a race thing. I think it's a class thing. I think they really believe that they are better than every. They they like they look like if you reach towards them, oh, don't touch me with your filthy hands. Get get away from me, you peasant. That's what it looked like. They how they would react, man. The way that they just they talk too, as well. Same way. Oh, you, you ugly. So you only want to show my face to get views. They can't get views without us. They're telling you how they think about you, even to their supporters. They're speaking to everyone like this. And people just, I guess they don't notice it. And okay, so I've, I haven't fought back for a month. I haven't said a word. I'm sad. And now he just keeps pushing the limit. Well, don't be surprised when I kick back then. Just move on. Laura's been taking channels down. She took down Bobby. Two. I only did one. Wow. But they started a new one. So I was like, whatever. Yeah, there's no really no sense of it. Wow, fam. To to be sitting there and bragging. How many channels you took down? Okay, I only took down this amount. What about you? How many channels you flagged and you had all your supporters mass flag and we got them taken down? How many? Only two? Okay. So Laura got the the best score. We're going to all aim for 10 by the end of the year. All right. One, two, three. Nasty. Go. What's wrong with you? Like, the, this, the fact that they can sit here and do this is... That's what just, like, actually surprised me. Not their actions. The fact that people are watching this and going, yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. That's crazy. They're just talking about going after Patreon, going after a candle business, going after hey, hey, What is that going to do? What is he that going to do? Grab any of that. He can't touch any of it. Well, his intention is to take money out of your pocket that you feed your kids with. And you know, see what I'm saying? That's his intention. His, his resolve with me when I spoke up and I spoke, I didn't diss him in any way when I did that video about what you said. I didn't diss him in any way. And I even said, you know, may his child rest in peace. But his response is to bring up a dead child. Brian, I said this publicly many of times. I'm going to say it again. If God forbid one of these people took out my main source of income. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. I just want to pause it real quick because this was so funny to me. After he just said, yeah, man, they go real life and blah, blah, blah. blah." She's going to threaten to do the exact same thing. As she's been doing this entire time. Support my kids on. I promise them. Promise them. They will regret that for a long time. Mama bear. I mean, they will see. I, and I will take out wow. all of them. One by one. When you're looking for trouble, you're going to find it. You hear that? If you, t- you hear this? Fam, I don't want to hear no. You will leave them alone. Don't give no criticism to them. I don't want to hear none of that, fam. It's green light. Cobra Kai season. Oh, yeah, fam. I'm on them. I'm on them, fam. This is so disgusting to me that they could just sit here and just brag about this. It's just like, it's because they really feel like they're better than everyone. They really feel that way. And once again, I'm going to say, I don't think it's because of the color of skin. Man, I really don't um, believe that. She even said in this stream, like, oh, you could have grew by coming. She invited people to Social Club. Come on and hang out with us. Yeah, and be cool. Don't talk about us. Which is another content creator. I ain't going to say her name. AZ, T-Spiracy. 
um, who has a head up her butt. Why not? Why not? Y'all want the real. Has a head up Molly's butt and went over there and was chilling with them and all in the live stream, ignoring all of these nasty things. And I guess she gained some subscribers from it, from social climbing. Um, I don't advise anyone to do that. I, I wouldn't. It doesn't work in the long run. You will pay, fam. <laughs> when you build your, your platform based off nasty, it will fall down nasty. Eventually. Eventually. Um, and that's not me wishing anything. That's just me looking at the history, um, especially um, on YouTube. I'm not with it. I don't agree with anything that these guys are saying. All of this is fake. I don't want nothing to do with it, but I will be roasting it. That's a fact. The intention is to push someone until they're annoyed. Then why cry when you get what you wanted? Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Yeah, I forgot. The source is me, by the way. <laughs> the source for that video is me. Check out the Garfield Speaks channel where you get exclusive uploads like that. Upload that, uh, like maybe 12. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, all these guys are nasty. Yes, I agree with you guys in the chat. They all do enable each other, and it's it's really nasty. It's not sad. It's nasty as hell, man. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe. And if you're extra nasty, check me out on Patreon or join my channel memberships. If you can't, don't worry about it. I know how it feels. I know how it feels when the pockets is low. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you do all that other special stuff. And if you already subscribed, make sure you hit that bell because YouTube be playing, son. Check that bell. Make sure you click all so you can be notified when I drop new stuff. If you got extra time, check out my podcast. I'm on Spotify and Apple and a whole bunch of other stuff. And if you want to receive a text every time I go live or whenever I got an announcement, you just want to know ahead of time, sign up for my text service, man. Look in the link. It should be in the, I look at the link. It should, check the description, okay? Check the description. It should be a link right there to it. See you guys later. Watch more of my videos.